please click subscribe button in order to subscribe to my channel hey guys this is gora welcome to sas with service now this is our follow-up session of service now service portal training before i start let me quickly introduce myself my name is gaurav tripathi i have 9.5 years of experience in it with 6.5 years of experience in service now architect solutions and project delivery in this session we are going to learn about how to create a new portal with new themes so if you remember we learned about the portal framework and we learned about the themes and some branding editor now in this i'm just showing you a practical demo that how you how can you create a new portal with just new themes so it's not a complete tutorial of how you create a portal it's just a glimpse that it's just kind of a overview the whatever we learned as of now how can you create a new portal with a new theme so let's take a look so this is my personal developer instance now in order to create a service portal we need to go to service portal so we are in the left hand side we have the service portal application now before that let me just zoom my browser so that you can see it better so i have made it 125 percent as of now that's 110 percent uh okay light camera action this is my personal developer instance now in order to create a portal you have to go to the service portal application so if you remember we have the service portal home and then we have the service portal configuration so let's go to service portal configuration if i go to service portal configuration and i click that module it will open up a new tab and open up the service portal configuration page so we have this now what exactly we want we want to create a new portal so let's click on new portal and let's give it a name so we can uh, put says now demo what kind of url suffix you want to put and that will be like sas now this will be suffix now it is asking what home page you want to put here home page is a page which is which will be displayed to the users when they log into the service portal your when they log in to your portal what kind of page they should they should see now for page creation we have a different section and that's the next section we have for page creation that how this uh, page what kind of contents is have what kind of components it has that's what we will we will learn but this is just a demo so as of now what i will do i will just go for a home page and i will put the same index page uh, we have from service now out of the box so So we have this index page. So I'm just selecting the index page for now. This is already created page out of the box. Then we have a QA knowledge base. So what kind of uh, knowledge base you want to put for social QA? I'm not putting anything. Then you have KB homepage that where users should reach out or should be should be landing when they have knowledge. So in that case, I will put KB let's see if I get something for knowledge so I have this KB home so I'm just putting this KB home for now uh, 404 I already have this 404 page so I'm just selecting that this is catalog home page so I will see if I have something for catalog let's search in the list if i have anything for service catalog sc lending let's let's select this one then you have this main menu now you can select the main menu whatever menu you want so let's select sp header menu this is the login page now what if a few users uh, log in from outside 
and you want to put some login page so that user put their username in the password so you don't have uh, active directory enabled and you want people to put the username and the password and then they access your home page in that case you can uh, select this login page and if i select it so basically it shows all the pages so you have to select the login page i'm selecting the login page now here i have theme i have to select the theme so i am selecting stock for now it is a quick configuration if it is required so i'm not uh, doing anything then i have upload an image that is the logo and again the icon so what i can do i will just go upload an image and i will see um, if i can upload something let's upload this one so i have uploaded this for this i will upload um it's an icon so i need to maybe this one it's just an example which i'm showing you the demo so icon has also been uploaded this is a CSS variables if you want to put any kind of CSS here you can do that and that will override your theme and that that's how it works so as of now I'm not putting any kind of CSS themes so I am done what I will do I will save this So this is saved. So our new portal is created. So if I if you will go to the portals table, you will see the new portal which we created that is SAS now demo. And if you will open this, for example, open this is in designer. So I'm just opening the designer. And here I can select the page. So, but I don't want to design any page, but let me check what, how exactly my portal is looking. So if I go to service portal, uh, sorry, I think I need to go to SAS now demo. So if I click on SAS now demo and I click on this, try it, so I'm clicking on try it once I'm clicking on try it now you can see it has opened up the same page it's a out-of-the-box portal page but with a different uh, uh, configuration which we have made like you can see uh, the the logo which we wanted to put that is different icon is different so browser icon now it's whatever we uploaded that's what it is showing now let's talk about a theme so you can you can also edit this if you want but in that case you have to edit the complete page because you, this page is quite different right this is from out of the box and you have selected that page and if you want a different page you have to create that page or maybe you want to copy this one and edit you can also do that but moreover you have to create a new uh, page and just add it as a home page then you will be able to do customization as per your requirement now what about the themes let's edit the theme so we have this stock theme selected on, on our portal so what we will do we will just click on this stock theme now this will open up this as you can see we have this css variables and we have header as stock header what we will do we will try to edit this and let's see what happens so what we will do we will just do one thing we will edit this stock says now and i'm just clicking on insert and stay so we have copied the same uh, theme now here we have this color as a text color default inverse bg background color that is this one 
So this is the hexadecimal uh, color. Now we can change this. So if I if I go to let's go for hexadecimal color. So we have this color coding and if I check this one this is the website where you can get this color if I search for so I'm not able to get this color but let's let's change the color so I have this this color what I will do I will pick any other color I will try to put that so let's put this one if I save this and if I go back to my portal and I change the theme now and I select stock fast now and I save this and this is my portal let's see what happens it's loading yep so now you can see we have that uh, banner uh, at the top which we have which we have this menu the background color it's become maroon that's what we selected and that's what it says that nav bar that's a navigation bar inverse background color now it says inverse link color a link color is something if I go here it becomes green now let's change that as well let's make it blue so I'm copying this color I'm going here and it says uh, hover color so hover color will be this one and if I paste here and I save this it will be affected automatically over there and I just reload it now you can see it, it became blue and this is link color so what kind of uh, color you want to put for these links so I will go here let's make them let's copy this one I'm copying this one and I'm saving this and I'm refreshing the portal yep so now you can see the color got changed so this is how you can design your portal it's, it's kind of a short demo I showed you, but I will sh definitely show you uh, a really a practical demo, a practical lab where we will create a complete portal from end to end. How will you, how exactly you will add the style sheets, how you will create the pages, how will you design your portal, that's what. But that will be a little later because I really want to uh, show you uh, the smaller things first so that you can understand all the components of service portal training so this was just kind of a glimpse that how you create a portal how you select the uh, theme so and that's how so if you get any requirement in your organization and you have been asked to uh, create a portal and you're not aware of so watch my videos and that's how you can just copy the uh, uh, theme and if you want to do some coloring as per your organization's default standard colors you can do that but you can still do more styling as we go further you will definitely learn about that as well so i hope you you learned how to create a new portal so thanks for watching my video and have a great day the next section will be on page portal page how can you create a new page in portal and what are its components so please subscribe my channel, like my videos and share my videos. Thank you.